But uh, I want to talk about a good moral standard and and maybe the absence of. When uh, the movie The Long Ranger came out, a lot of atheists didn't like that movie at all. Uh, Johnny Depp that played the part of uh, Tonto in that movie, he uh, was a extreme. I, I don't even know if there's a word <laughs> that you could use for the standard that he portrayed there. He was an extreme example of a moral standard, <clears throat> of a good moral standard. It's rain outside. I love the rain. Uh, well, at least until it comes a big flood, anyway. But anyhow, uh, that crow on the top of Johnny Depp's head, um, Tonto's head, is a depiction, is a an example in the Bible, in uh, uh, Ezekiel 39, 4 of. Uh, what is going to happen to people who uh, betray, who have betrayed Israel, uh, God's country, a uh, country of love, a uh, country that God loves. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if the producers knew um, about the crow, about the ravenous birds in the Bible which a crow is one of those ravenous birds kinds of other the Bible of course talks about all different kinds of birds and a crow is, is only going to be one of those birds that are gathered around uh, that valley in, in the day of uh, uh, Armageddon and uh, uh, he just <laughs> you know it's amazing to me how he walked all the way through that movie with this crow on his head and he portrayed uh, a, a person who was seeking after uh, revenge for a people that has been done wrong well that's exactly what's going to take place in Ezekiel 39 4 and so I, see I'm just saying this movie is a, it's a really good example and, and uh, of an extreme example of a, a good moral standard because he relentlessly followed after that thing which he believed in refused to give up no matter how much the odds were uh, against him and he um, was totally set his heart and his mind and his, his, his whole purpose was to get him to that place where his people could be avenged. And that's exactly what the uh, uh, Bible tells us that we need to do as far as, as um, uh, uh, Christianity is concerned. Not the revenge part. Of course, God's going to take that part himself revenge but um, we are to be totally dedicated to the purpose and it's not like we have a not knowing some people say well you don't know well yeah we know we know where we're going we know what we're doing we know the price that we're paying there is you know ever since Abraham went and didn't know sometimes we follow God and not know exactly where uh, he's taken us in the plan that we have, but we know what God's plan is. His plan is to perfect us. His plan is to uh, cause us to grow in Him, cause us to grow in faith, cause us to grow in in uh, 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 wisdom and, and teaching others and becoming... Um, a tool that uses that God uses to accomplish His will with being magnetic in all that we do and being joyful and and knowing when to get mad, knowing when to laugh, knowing when to tell a joke, and 
not tell a joke. You know, let, I'll tell you something. I mean, there is not too many places in God to tell a joke. You know what I mean? A good example of that is Christ never, ever. You don't see any place in there where he was telling a joke, you know. So a good moral standard is very serious. And people that who are lacking of, of course, is the ones who Tato was, was fighting against. Who ignores every good example. Where will rip your heart out. And there's one this one particular place who the the guy played the Long Ranger, I forget his name. He uh, uh, was trying to help his brother. He was in the beginning a prosecutor. He wasn't Long Ranger at all, but his brother was killed by this fellow and he ripped his heart out and ate it. You know, that's that's another um, example of what the devil does to people. You know, he was saying, literally, well not literally, spiritually, he wants to spiritually destroy your heart, everything. Jesus said to Peter, the devil has desired to sift you as wheat. He says, but I pray that your faith fail you not. And I pray that for my son. I pray that for my wife and for my children and for my grandbabies. And when when the devil does that, he, he gets you into a place where it calls you to hate God, to hate the things of God, to hate the people of God. And, you know, I, I've talked to uh, some atheists, and it seems like the thing that they have going is not that they just don't believe in God, but they actually hate God. I've had a, a uh, fellow tell me that, that uh, Christianity is, is one of the reasons that we have wars. You know, and there could be no peace. There could only be total peace when all religions are gotten rid of. Well, a religion is something that it mocks God. God is not a religion. God is a reality. Uh, religion is something where you you carve a face out on a pole, and stack one on top of another, and you worship that piece of wood that you carved out with your own hand. That's religion. And then you go and kill anybody that disagrees with you. You know, that's religion. But God tells us that we should love people. We should try to understand folks. And we should try to uh, tell them how Christ came to this earth and he died for our sins that we could be forgiven. And God could work in our lives and get us back to that place where we belong again. I know I'm getting along. All right, God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Another great moral message right here on Crossing the Middle Ministry.